61A, lecture number 22, announcements. These are the most announcements we've ever had on a single day. And a lot of it is about next week's midterm. You might already be thinking, how come we're having a midterm in the middle of a pandemic? And that's a good question. But I think that a lot of you have worked really hard to learn the material in this course. And so I'd like to give you a chance to demonstrate how far you've come. But I haven't forgotten that your midterm one was particularly difficult, and I am very aware that the chaos in the world is making it much harder to focus on this course than it would otherwise be. So my goal for this midterm is to have it be a real exam, but shorten the length and adjust the format so that maybe it's less stressful and more approachable than a typical CS61A exam. I'm also aware that students for years have been asking how come we take exams on paper when programming is all about using computers? Wouldn't it make sense to take an exam where you can actually try stuff out while you're working so that instead of memorizing all the details of functions that are built in, you could just look them up as you go? And I think that's a good suggestion, so that's what we're going to try next week. But first, some other announcements. We still have online office hours by appointment and we added some more appointments yesterday afternoon. I think a few of them are still available, and we'll add more, just as soon as I can figure out the staff's availability. Remember that they are students too. They're also trying to travel around and deal with the chaos of the world. So we're trying to create as much capacity as we can for online office hours, but there might be less than in a normal circumstance. Project three was extended by a day, it's due today. Homework 5 is due on Tuesday. Midterm 2 will be next Thursday at 7.10 p.m. You do not need to be on campus. You will need a computer capable of running Python 3 and Zoom, which is conferencing software. You can download it now if you want. Probably you already have because it's being used in courses all across campus. You will need an internet connection. And if you cannot take the exam at the scheduled time, I wish to be excused for some reason, or if you don't have a suitable computer to take it, please fill out this form by next Tuesday and we'll work something out. In this course, midterm two is typically 50 points, but this midterm will be only 25 points because of its unusual format and just to lessen the amount of your grade that's going to be determined based on this very trying time. What content is covered? I won't ask you to draw an environment diagram. I won't ask you what would Python display. Instead, I will focus on fill-in-the-blank problems. These problems will cover all lecture material through Monday, four days ago. There was also a lecture posted for Wednesday, two days ago, on efficiency, but I'm going to exclude that from this exam. And today's lecture and Monday's lecture should help you review. They are quite relevant to the midterm, and they just integrate ideas that we've seen so far. So please watch them, but they won't introduce new material that will be covered on the exam. There will not be a lecture for next Wednesday, just to give you enough time to prepare for the exam. And what about the exam itself? Well, here's what you should know about the format. You'll be writing your answers in a Python file, a text file full of Python code, just like you would for a homework assignment. You will be able to check your work with Python by running Python however you want, and we will supply OK tests corresponding to the doc tests in the exam problems. These provided tests will not be exhaustive, so it's still possible to pass the tests and get the question wrong. Like past exams, we'll try to show you some useful examples, but it will be up to you to answer the question correctly. And you'll submit your work the same way you would submit a homework or lab assignment. Unlike past homework and lab assignments, each question will have a template and you will need to fill in that template as opposed to writing whatever code you feel like. This template format with blanks in it is just like past exams, and I think the fill in the blank problems from past exams are representative of the questions you will be asked. But unlike past exams, you'll have an interpreter so that you can try things out and figure out what works and what doesn't. As always, we'll provide study guides, including the midterm one study guide that we already released, and a midterm two study guide that will come out shortly. And you can bring two pages of notes that you create yourself. You'll also be able to look up slides, examples, worksheets, and videos 
on cs61a.org, but you will not be allowed to use the rest of the internet, and you will not be allowed to communicate with other people, except to ask questions of the course staff, which you will do through Piazza by making a private post, and any private post that we answer that seems relevant to other students, we will make public as a clarification. So taking this exam will be something like working on a lab, except that you have to do it yourself, and it will be under a time-controlled setting. So that's the plan with midterm two. It's certainly an experiment, but it's the best solution I can come up with under the circumstances. So thanks for playing along. If you have comments or suggestions about what I've said so far, feel free to fill out the feedback form. A few students have already given me some suggestions, which I found helpful. And I'll tell you some more details about the exam next week. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're staying healthy and safe and that this change in the world hasn't caused you too much stress. Hang in there. And if you finished project three, congratulations.